What's up guys, Matthijs here. So a while ago I made a video about this guitar and somebody requested that I share my tone. But rather than sharing my tone, I thought I'd just show you guys how I made it. So I'm in the PodHD 500 edit software right now. And uh, the way I built this tone was with a, uh, a dual cabinet setup. So I chose uh, PV Panama preamp. Another one, and I got these uh, this combination for for uh, the cabinets and the microphones from the website by Miam Balo. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I'll put a link in the description. So what he had, or one of those combinations, I think was a um, XXL with 409 dynamic. The other one was a Trad P30 with an Onyxis microphone. So, let's see how that sounds. So, it's a good basis, but it still needs quite a lot of work. So, first thing is less gain. Very important. Don't have too much gain in your sound. So, uh, the first step or one of the most important steps is choosing a, uh, an overdrive. I like to use the screamer, turn the drive all the way down and the outputs all the way up. Ah, also forgot something. These need to be both in the center so that the tones mix. Just in case it's gonna clip, just bring it a little bit lower. You can always turn it up later. So, that's already a lot better. Maybe a little bit less of the bass, a bit more tone. Very tight. Alright, so another important aspect of modern metal riffing is using a noise gate or maybe two because why not I put the decay at 10 because I, I like that you can choose whatever you want so sounding pretty good so far Another thing that I like to do is use a, an equalizer in front of the amp. So I choose the studio equalizer and at about 300 hertz. And you can dial this up quite a lot because it doesn't really have the same effect as a uh, post EQ would have. So you can hear the difference. <laughs> Just sounds a lot tighter, has a lot more attack, and I really like it. But there's more. Let's see. To get rid of the hiss a little bit, I use a mid focus equalizer. Um, I like to keep the low frequencies. I can always add a high pass filter later in the mix if I want to. Uh, but I think this has a right, really nice characteristic. Um, also, let's see. Sounds a little bit more like a guitar rather than a, uh, I don't know, like, like a 
Boss metal tone. You know that pedal that sounds like a lot of bees? Like this. Well, anyways. Um, another thing. This is actually a trick that I learned from uh, a guy called Johnny. Maybe you know him from YouTube. This project's called uh, Fortiori. And what he does is grab, grab a, uh, a parametric EQ, turn up the gain, and EQ the gain a little bit, and just sweep around the spectrum. Frequency. So I think it's around about 76. That sounds really nasty. So just turn the gain down maybe 30%. So that's a very big difference. What else? What else? Right. Ah, uh, almost forgot it. The thing with these dual cabinet setups is that they're not really in phase with each other or something like that. But to, to apply some phase correction, <coughs> you just put a uh, an equalizer after the, uh, the one with which is this one, the Tret V30 and the Onexus microphone. Let's see, which one was it? This one, and so just keep it neutral. That also helps, makes it sound a little bit more, I don't know, thicker. I don't know if that's the right word, but makes it sound better. That's what we're after, right? A better sound. And Last, but not least, I found that when I, well around 700 and about, and also 5000 Hz, uh, if I cancel out those frequencies, it kind of cleans up the sound a little bit. I'll show you what I mean. So that is basically the time that I use for recording. I didn't really change any of the amp parameters because that is something that you can do yourself, you know, just make it sound good to your ears. And if you want to know how it sounds in the mix, you can check my last video. And if you want to see more, you can hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and see you later.